In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create a new project and also how to delete a project. In the process, we'll run some of the apps and we'll also try to understand a little more about the layout. So let's press Command Spacebar and type Visual Studio and open Visual Studio. And then go over to the Command Palette. And at the Command Palette, type in Flutter and find New Project. When you click that, you have a choice to make here, whether you want an application, an empty application, etc. We're going to use the application, and that's going to give you a standard default program that comes with Flutter. These others are interesting, and we'll look at one of them later. So when we click on Application, the first question is, where do we want to store that file? So let's go ahead and say we want to store that file in Development. So select a folder to create the project in. And, and here we'll type in the name, and we'll use no uppercase in the name. So demo project 01. We're going to create this project, run it, and then delete it. So you see the project being created, and here's the code. And on the left, we can see we're looking at demo project 01 at main.dart. Now run and debug this, and you'll see on the bottom right, the program executing. And there's the outcome. Let's move that up here. It's running on Mac OS. We'll click the button just to be sure it works. And then we'll close and exit. Now let's go back to the Explorer tab, and we can see the demo project right there. And then we quit Visual Studio. And let's reopen Visual Studio code. And demo project is there where we left it when we exited Visual Studio code. So to delete it, first let's try option one, file, and come down to close folder. And that removes it from the panel. Now, when we try to open the folder and we go look at it, demo project is still there. Now it's closed on our screen, but it still exists. So that didn't work. So let's try a different approach. Let's go to view, command palette, and then open recent. So we can see the file open recent there. And when we look at this, we can see the demo project is there and there's a little X on the right. So we can click that and remove from recently opened. So the thing to note is we're just removing it from recently opened. We're not actually deleting it. Let's also close the folder and now go back and confirm that the file is still there. And there it is, demo project 01 is still there. So using the open recents or the folder close doesn't delete the project. So to delete the project, we'll approach it a different way. Let's quit Visual Studio Code and open Finder and go where that file is stored. So we can see development, demo project, and it's all there. And lib has the main dot dart. So let's go back to development and now drag that demo project to trash or right click on it and move it to trash. Now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and see if that project is really gone. Command Spacebar, Visual Studio pops open. Let's look at the file open folder and we'll chase it down through Mac Mingle, development, and it's not there. So that's how you delete a project once you've created it. So we're back here and we can see my first app is still visible here. Let's create another project. Let's open the command palette and make a new project. And this time we're going to try and understand what the application is. That was the click the button to increase the counter and an empty application. You can look at the others later yourself. So we'll go ahead and open that uh, empty application and give it a name. And the name is demo2, demo02. And now it's creating the application, and we can see the application is much smaller. It has the key components of the code. 
the framework, so to speak, and we'll cover the framework and coding later. We go to main.dart .dot and run and debug, and we can see the project is running on the bottom right. And here's the application, and all it has is a hello world. So let's close this. It's running on the Mac OS. Let's take a brief look at the code. These are the key elements, and there's the hello world. Now, you could go in there and change the text, etc. But for now, let's exit out of this and delete Demo2 and confirm it's gone. And we can see that Demo02 is right there. And once again, we're going to right click on it and delete it. And that's how you create and delete projects in Visual Studio. Now let's summarize that with a quick run through of these steps. We begin by activating Spotlight and then looking for Visual Studio. And then in Visual Studio, we go to the command palette and then type in Flutter and find new projects. And that's where you can create a new project using an application, an MTA application, or a skeleton, etc. And it's worth looking at each of these separately. For now, we're creating an MTA application and it asks us where do we want to save it. We're going to save it in development. So let's select that folder and then give it a name. We're going to use summary demo and we can't use an uppercase. So let's back up and correct that. And there we are, summary demo has been created. And we can see main dot dot, here's the code. It's the hello world code. Just to confirm, let's run it. And there's the code executed showing the hello world. So this is a simple app. We've created it and we've run it and tested it and we can go in and edit the code. But what we're going to do now is look at deleting summary demo. So we can close the folder and then exit Visual Studio and then go to the finder and find where this file is saved under development. Then under development, we see summary demo. All we have to do is select it and move it to trash and the project is deleted. And that's the entire process of creation running through deletion of this app. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching.